The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black fighter pilots in the Army Air Corps. They fought during World War II when much of America was divided by race. But still you knew that there was racism. We knew At 85, Dr. Eugene Richardson is one of the few remaining Tuskegee Airmen in Philadelphia. The Temple grad grew up in Ohio and says he always wanted to fly. Yeah, I saw an air show when I was, uh, you know, five or six years old. And you see these things up in the air and, you know, they look like they're having fun up there, diving and climbing. And when he was 17, he got his chance. And we knew that there was a chance of going into war, but that to me was exciting because this perhaps gives me an opportunity to be a pilot. Richardson enlisted in the Army in 1944 and after basic training, he went to Tuskegee, Alabama to earn his wings. The war ended before Richardson got a chance to fight in combat, but he fought for another cause after the Army. He helped integrate Philadelphia public school faculty. After I became a certified math teacher, there were only two or three schools where I could be a teacher because they didn't have black teachers in Philadelphia in the 50s and 60s. Decades later, he is the chair of the Tuskegee Airmen of Philadelphia. To preserve their legacy, the Philadelphia chapter of the Tuskegee Airmen donated their World War II memorabilia to the Charles L. Bloxon Afro-American Collection. And now, those items are available for the world to see right here on Temple's main campus. When I tell about what we had to go through, what other blacks have had to go through, and how things are for you today, there's nothing in your way. Richardson hopes the accomplishments of the airmen will inspire future generations. For Temple Update, I'm Cherry Gregg.